Hello everyone. In this video, let us see about FM superheterodyne receiver. I am Dr. T. M. Inbamalar, working as professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. So basically, superheterodyne receivers are designed to overcome the drawbacks in tuned radio frequency receivers. Now, let us see in detail about the FM superheterodyne receiver. So let us have a look at the block diagram of the FM superheterodyne receiver. The receiving antenna will be receiving the signals transmitted by the transmitter. It receives the signals and provide it as input to the radio frequency amplifier for amplifying the input signals. The amplified signal is then applied to mixture in which the second signal comes from a local oscillator. The mixture now has two input frequencies. Combining both generates an IF signal of 10.7 MHz. This signal is again amplified using an intermediate frequency amplifier called as IF amplifier. The output of the IF amplifier is allowed to flow in the limiter circuit. The limiter circuit gives a constant amplitude signal by removing the noise from the signal it received. The output of the limiter is then applied to the FM discriminator which recovers the modulating signal which means this discriminator acts as a F, FM demodulator. The signal is still not the original modulating signal therefore before applying it to the audio amplifier it is de-emphasized. De-emphasis attenuates the higher frequencies to bring them back to their original amplitudes. The output of this de-emphasis is the audio signal which is applied to the audio stages and then to the speaker. Thank you.